Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have DC Multiverse, Alfred Pennyworth from the Killer Croc Collect and Connect Wave. And a huge shout out goes to my boy Ernest for finding this in the wild as I have yet to see this wave in person. And the only one I really wanted, even though the wave is a very solid looking wave, I just wanted Alfred. I love the idea of what he comes with and he just looks amazing so he comes in this typical dc multiverse packaging you got alfred right here and some nice artwork and then we have up at the top there it does say you know batman 80 years i guess they're doing the whole copy in marvel or are they just all coincidentally are 80 years i don't know uh but you got this image on both the sides as well we do have that artwork again and a little bit of read up information. So go ahead and pause it if you feel like reading that. And I do apologize for the crease. It's just how it goes some days with these packages. Then you got the Killer Croc, which probably one of the best Collect and Connect figures I've seen. And it's done by the Four Horsemen Studio. So you know you're getting quality when it comes to the sculpt. Then we get all the other figures from the Wave, which... The Robin, the Red Robin looks really good. And then the uh, Red Hood looks really, really good. I've seen some people do some crazy poses. He's pretty good. But I'm not messing with any of these. The only one I wanted was Alfred. So let's get him out of his prison. Alfred looking like Alfred out of the package. And it's awesome. It's such a nice looking figure. And he comes with a very big meaty arm from the Killer Croc. And just to give you a size comparison, that's just Killer Croc's arm. Accessory wise, he comes with a bunch. He comes with his nice little silver serving tray. He also comes with a little glass. There's nothing in it. It's just a hollow little piece of plastic, but that is a glass that he can serve on that tray. You could probably put some liquid in there, you know. Be uh be a little bit careful if you're doing anything with like dye or like any food coloring or stuff because you don't want to dye the plastic. But I mean that's that's pretty cool you can't be batman or bruce wayne's butler unless you're going to be serving him as cowl so that's pretty cool it's uh just a chunk of plastic that you get of batman's cowl and it lays on the serving tray along with the drink here's a good reason of why i wanted this figure too oh his cup's tipping over but you can put stuff on it it doesn't have to be just the cowl but i can move the taco and the little beer out of the way because this is technically how it's supposed to be. Of course, placement is all up to you. But still really cool to be able to have Alfred with these little extra accessories. They didn't have to do that. Alfred comes with a variety of different portraits. So for you Adam West fans out there, we get this Alfred head sculpt. It looks fantastic. The glasses are great. It is an amazing likeness to the actor. I mean, I think this is the best I've seen glasses done at this scale. Super clean. We also receive Alfred from the Michael Keaton Batman. Looks great. The glasses have a weird line going through them. So when you look at it straight on, it almost looks like he has little mole, uh, like mole eyes. But uh, still looks good. I don't even care that there's lines going through the glasses. It's nice that they gave us portraits and then two of them come with these little intricate glasses on their face the third portrait that he comes with is Voldemort so for you Harry Potter fans out there we got a nice little Voldemort head and it's got like the scales and everything it looks really good got a little bit of flesh tone I guess when he is trans you know consuming a soul or a body or something but uh actually I, I have no idea who this is and uh it's probably from the comics if anybody knows who this Alfred is and why he looks like this, you know, comment down below. Because I'd like to know because he definitely comes off as Voldemort, but with a nose. The fourth portrait that we receive is Alfred from the comics. Straight, spot on, great likeness. Sculpt is great. Has some nice black and gray going on in the hair and even has a little bald spot going on up there. A little bit of it, uh, the flesh paint painted over the hair, but that's an easy fix. And I just like... It just, they captured his age very, very well. And this whole figure is phenomenal when you're looking at it. The amount of detail that's in this. The separate little jacket right there. And it's even like got the 
The long tail on the back. It's got his gloves on. The pinstripe suit or suit. Pinstripe pants. Ooh, that knee is very loose. And then we get into his shoes, which I wish these were more white than gray. When it comes to articulation, his head can look up, can look down. But when he looks down, he gets a crazy little gap there. I'm not a fan of, and I'm not a fan that it's painted skin color because it doesn't, it's still a little off with the tone of his neck skin to his plastic flesh skin. But he does get some up and down. Yes, Master Bruce. And uh, the whole left, ooh, ooh, what is that, a Pez dispenser? That's crazy. Yeah, not feeling the gaps there. Um, arms go up quite well. Full 360. He's got the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation, and bend. So very nice when it comes to that. It's blurry. There we go. Wrist rotation and bends. So that's like off-white gloves. It's very cool. He does should have a don't know what's going on with this up oh, there. Do it, does he? He has a little bit of an ab crunch, I guess. But if I go to push it, yeah, I think it's I'm not going to mess with that too much. There is some sort of ab crunch, but you heard the noise it was making, so I don't want to push it. Uh, he can rotate at the hips. A little bit of of a shelf hip going on. Legs are awesome. They swing out perfectly doing the Van Dam. Plus they're not the nasty legs that we're used to getting. And he can kick up almost doing a nice Spartan kick. We got the uh, thigh cut there. Double jointed knee. Then we get the ankle bend and a little bit of pivot. Not much though. It's sort of a little bit of something going on there. But nice posability out of a butler. I mean, you could definitely have him doing some fighting, some fist to cuffing, you know, ready to box some ears. But definitely a very, very nice looking figure. Here we can see the alternate head on the body. It's amazing that all these heads, they fit so nice. No issues popping them onto the ball joint, and they actually fit the figure. So they did a really good job with all of them being so universal. And then we got young Voldemort on the body. Looking good. This one actually fit very snug on the ball joint compared to the other ones. The other one sort of popped on a little bit easier. This one was a snug pop. I totally understand why people are just gobbling this figure up. It is an amazing figure. It's a must-have if you want a butler character in your collection, definitely worth having. If you're a Batman fan, it's definitely worth having. It is just a fantastic figure. And I actually could see somebody buying multiple so they can have one of each Alfred on their shelves because it's just that awesome of a figure. But that sums up my unboxing review of DC Multiverse Alfred Pennyworth from the Killer Croc Connect and Collect or Collect and Connect figure, whatever the heck those things are. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell notification so you know when I post up a new video as I post up a variety of different collectible reviews as I just get them done. And I want you guys to check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. You got the website down below. You got a promo code down there for you guys to get free shipping from anything that you purchase off of that website to your doorstep. So definitely utilize it. Plus, you get both Facebook groups you can join up. You got the Toyco community interact with your fellow collector talk figures trade figures just really have a good time then you got the pre-order group which is a must in my opinion because it allows you to take advantage of the pre-order prices that andrew does for his customers he really just destroys the competition so if you're regular uh at big bad toy store entertainment earth megalopolis look at toyco's pre-orders because i guarantee you his prices are going to beat those regular places so Toyco, definitely the place to be getting your collectibles. And I want you guys to make sure you have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.